unique roster at Polar this year. We've got a lot of seasoned vets. We've also got a lot of young guns. And we're going to be relying on those young guns to really come through. I'm really pumped to be back. It's going to be a good year. And I feel like last year I had a lot of beginner's luck. And from that, I just kind of built my skills on it. So I'm ready to go. I'm ready to prove myself this year. Steph came to me. I was really on the fence with her last year. And uh, she impressed me. You know, for a young kid to, to really have that drive and determination and do this crazy job, you know, my hat's off to her. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what, uh, what she's going to produce this year for sure. When they first get to the ice road, you know, you're wondering what's going to happen, what's going to go on, all this kind of stuff when you're first starting out, because you don't know how it's going to turn out, right? You hope it's going to turn out good. Clinton is just not in my vocabulary. Art's really stepped up this game over the last few years. I just, I, I need to keep him out of ditches, I need to keep him uh, away from trees, I need to keep him away from power lines, and Art just gets the job done. I haven't quit before, I'm not about to quit now. Well, the older you get, the more you keep doing the same thing over and over again. It seems to be comfortable. This is what I do when February comes, so I do it again. And we'll do it for a couple of months, and then I'll go do something different. I'm relying on Alex to come in, you know, old vet, long in the tooth. I'm sure he wants to retire, but if something keeps bringing him back. Uh, I need his, his wisdom and his years of experience out there. Part of the stress of coming to the ice roads is not knowing what's going to happen, what the season's going to be like. You got some of the greatest people, like Daryl Ward, who aren't going to be here this year to help out. So that's going to put more stress on all of us to get, you know, pushed just a little bit harder. You know, you can always rely on Todd. He, he never backs down from the challenge. I've thrown him some of the craziest challenges over the years, and I know if I got something that needs to get done at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, his phone's the first one around. Why don't we team up and get these loads moved? I actually don't know what I'm going to do yet because Daryl started the company, brought me on to help, and now the person that started it isn't there, and I don't know if I can do it myself because we are already getting pretty strong. The ultimate goal here is to get all these loads delivered in short season, and I feel it's my responsibility to reach out to Lisa to see if I can give her a hand based on what's been going on in the last little while. I don't have a paperwork at all, so if I have to go back to Polar, then I don't think he or I will have a problem with that. And if I stay working for myself, then I might have a problem. <laughs> this year's a little bit more emotional than, than normal. But I know Daryl's going to be looking down, and I know he's going to see us all really pushing hard in his honor to get all these loads in, to make sure the communities get what they need, because he would want us to go out there and get the job done and get it done right. Death Road. Get the ice cracking right there!